This sweater is surprisingly really quick to make because every other row is this X stitch. We have a row of single crochet, then we have a row of this X stitch. That whole thing that looks like an X, would you believe that that's just one stitch? And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. This sweater comes is a free pattern on my website. It comes in sizes 34 inch to 50 inch bust. It comes with charts and the line by line instructions. And it calls for my sport weight bamboo yarn called Be So Sporty. There's information about that in the video description below, along with a description of, or I'm sorry, a link on where to get your free pattern. And All right, so let's get started. We're going to start with a chain, and I'm just showing you a condensed size uh, sampling of this today. So I'm going to do a repeat of three of the X stitches in my swatch, which means I'm going to need 15 stitches, but to start with a row of single crochet, we need an extra chain. So I'm going to chain 16 to start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow, that was good luck. So we're now going to single crochet into the second chain from our hook. Just a reminder, single crochet is to insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. We're going to do that across the whole row. We want a total of 15 single crochets, or if you're doing a larger size swatch or a scarf or any other item, just want to make sure that you have a multiple of five single crochets. Okay, and just like with any other stitch, to do a stitch at the beginning of the row, it's a little bit different than when we do it later on in the row, because we need to adjust for the height with some chains in the beginning. So the beginning X stitch at the beginning of the row, and this will be called out and described in great detail in the pattern, is to start with a chain four. And then you're going to skip three stitches. That chain four is the first leg of the X, so that's going to work over the first single crochet. Skip three single crochets and work a treble stitch in the next stitch. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook into that fifth stitch from the end of the row, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we've done a chain four, skip three stitches, and done a treble stitch. So now we're going to chain seven, and we're going to work another treble stitch, only this time we're going to work into, let me show you up close, we're going to work into the top bar of the treble and the top bar of the first chain, that first chain four. So you're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook into both of those bars. Do you see that? Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to set that down so you can see what it looks like. And that is our beginning X stitch. Cool, huh? So now what we need to do is combine all of those steps. We don't need to do chains to start it because we're now in the middle of the row and our height has been adjusted for. So now the next X stitch is worked a little bit differently. We're going to yarn over five times, insert our hook in the next stitch, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three, or pull through two three times. Okay, then we're going to yarn over twice, skip three stitches, insert our hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three times. So now we're going to pull through, yarn over, pull through two three more times for our third leg. So now we have the first leg, second leg, and third leg done chain three, and to do the fourth leg of our X, we're going to do a treble stitch around those two bars that we talked about in the first X stitch, the top of this leg and the top of this leg. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into those two bars, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And I'll set that down so now you can see we have our beginning X stitch and our regular X stitch, and they look surprisingly almost identical, except for the fact that we have the chains at the beginning. But you notice that they actually replicate the height perfectly. So now I'll do one more X stitch, and just go through the whole thing really slowly for you. We're going to yarn over five times, insert our hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, skip three stitches, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, through two, and through two. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through two three more times. You notice how I paused in the middle of that? It was so you could see where I ended one leg and began the next leg. We're going to chain three, and now we're going to work our fourth treble into the top leg of the bottom two, into the top bar of the bottom two legs. So yarn over twice, and you just want to pick which bar makes sense of both of those so that we're cinching it together. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, through two, and through two. And so now we have a third X stitch completed. God, I love this stitch. I've done it in the round, in squares, in motifs. I've done blankets, I've done Afghan motifs. And if you wanna see how to do this in the round with corners, I'd be happy to show that in another video. Make sure you leave comments below and let me know what else you'd like to see. Uh, remember how I said this is a five stitch repeat. So each of these uh, X stitches counts as five single crochets on the next row. So we're going to chain one and how you work five single crochets over an X stitch is to work one single crochet in the top of the first leg, three single crochets over the chain three space in the middle, and then single crochet in the top of the last leg. So you want to do that across the entire row to get back to your five stitch multiple repeat of the pattern. And I'll show you again on the sweater that this is what it look this is what it will look like. And there's what rows of the X stitch would look like. This would make a great afghan, great scarf, all sorts of things. If you wanted to get this free pattern, it's sized from 34 inches to 50 inches. The free pattern plus charts is available on my website and the link to that will be in the video description along with a link for Be So Sporty Yarn.